Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my annual what I got for Christmas video. This should go without saying, but it feels like you always have to disclaim the obvious. This is not to brag in any kind of way, shape or form. Actually, none of my stuff is super fancy. My family and I, we don't really give fancy gifts to each other. Uh, more like practical things that we need things like that uh, but I'm always like curious to see what other people get for Christmas so I like to share what I got with you guys even if you guys don't care about it <laughs> um, it's super windy again today like this is the Chris the windiest Christmas that I've ever that I could ever remember uh, so if you guys hear I had to move from the back the front window if you guys I think you guys haven't seen that, those videos but um, I just filmed some videos in front of the window that I usually film and the lighting was just in and out It was terrible because of the wind like the trees and the bushes were like moving a lot. So there's nothing like that back here that could um, Make the lighting go in and out, but it is windy because I am in front of a window So if you guys can hear it, I hope it's not too bad. So anyway, let's just get started The first thing I want to show you guys is a coat. I did get a new coat and I was super excited because um I really needed one and it's this one right here it's kind of a puffy puffy coat type jacket but it has like a like a fleece lining on the inside it's super warm I already tried it on and then it has this little hoodie that's super cute with the full fur and it has um, the, the hoodie is removable so I, I wouldn't wear this um, like all the time unless I needed to uh, most of the time I think I'll wear it without it but it would it's not it's a nice addition to have so I can wear it it's black it's mid length I think it goes all the way like mid thigh um, it does cover down my butt so that's always nice and I'm excited I had just it's funny because I just bought one but it's navy blue and now I have a black one so I can it, it'll match my outfits better the other item of clothing that I received is kind of like a family heirloom and I was super excited to get this but it's this like real fur shawl for like the nighttime it goes up on your shoulders like this I'll, I'll try to like sit up so you guys can see it but it kind of goes over your your shoulders like this and it's like perfect for the nighttime and can you guys see oh. there you go so when you're out for like, not that I go to a lot of fancy parties or anything like that, but when you're out to an event, an evening event that is formal wear and it's cold and you don't know what jacket to wear, this is like the perfect thing for that. And I love it. It's my mom's. It used to be my grandma's, I think. Um, I don't know that tag, if that means anything to anyone, but um, as you guys can see, this is super old and I'm super excited because um, my mom was like, do you want this? Or should I give it to Joey's girlfriend? Joey's my nephew. And I was like, "That's she's a girlfriend. She's not even like a wife or a, not even a fiance. Of course I want it. <laughs> it needs to stay in the family. So I'm super excited about this one. It just, it means a lot. Then going back to functional things, I did get some, my mom always gets me sheets <laughs> for, for Christmas. So I did get this set and it's um, ultra soft and wrinkle resistant. That's always nice. And, and they look nice. So they come with um. I, I don't know if, if the pillowcases are gonna be this fancy. They look like chamois, but it says that they're pillowcases, so we'll see. And then she also got me a quilt. This is super cute. I red is my favorite color. In case you didn't know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, she got me a, a a a quilt. I prefer quilts over comforters, just because I wash my bedding like once a week I think that's a lot I think uh, but every weekend I throw it in the wash just because you know I do have dogs they do get on the bed and I try to keep the bed as clean as possible so if when I buy comforters they tend to not last as long just because they start like balling up from the stuff inside um, and so quilts are just very easier to maintain so super excited to have another one and then uh, one more thing that's not beauty related um, I got this um, from my sister and it's a little like a little kit type thing it has a little is this periwinkle blue 
is that the color <laughs> it's kind of like a grayish blue it's very very pretty from steve madden and it's a small bag it's nice because all i have are bigger bags so it's nice to have a little bag for whenever you want to go to a, a, an event and just like carry a few things not your whole bag and then it has this little one i think this is like a coin purse but i don't really ever carry cash so i don't know maybe i'll stick my key in there you know and then it has like a little bandana ish like a keychain this is super cute i don't know if i would use this honestly but the bag i i really enjoyed so that's this one then i also got a gift card from from sephora um i don't know i'm just gonna wait until next year uh so i can start accumulating like points i did i even make vib this year i don't even know if i did if i didn't i got super close i now buy almost everything exclusively at ulta just because the reward system we all know it's a lot better at ulta so i i'm just gonna wait um until one well, i should look if it pushes me over to vib for next year i might as well just do it uh spend the money now this that like this within the next week and then if it's not even gonna get me close i'll just wait till next year and i'll use it towards getting earning the the points for next year so that's that and then the other makeup stuff that i got is this palette from Too Faced. This is so funny because I just filmed my um, my makeup inventory video and now this palette makes me have the same amount of palettes as Urban Decay. Urban Decay, you guys know, it's my favorite brand. And so the fact that I have as many palettes from Too Faced now as Urban Decay is kind of like, is Too Faced getting up there? I think Too Faced has really cute packaging and really pretty color story. I'm not a fan of how this smells. It smells like pumpkin. I thought it would smell sweet, like a cinnamon roll, but, or is that cinnamon that I'm smelling? Maybe it's the cinnamon. I don't know. If you guys have this palette, let me know what it smells like, but it doesn't smell as good as the other ones, but this one is pretty. I love it. This pop of like fuchsia purple color right here. Oh, super pretty. It's called Food Court. Very nice. I kind of been getting these every Christmas, it seems like, but I'm still very appreciative. Um, I love eyeshadow palettes, even though I don't use them. I, well, I lie. I don't rotate through them as much as I should, but I do obviously use them because you guys know my Panda palette. I forgot one one um, functional thing. I got a pair of gloves, which is nice. I, I swear, gloves are like socks to me. Like you could never go wrong gifting me gloves because for some reason, like, like I lose them. <laughs> like I'll, I'll go through like one winter season with them and then they'll disappear. Uh, and then for the next winter season, like I have no idea where my gloves went. So that's that. And then I got two, I'm kind of worried about my personal hygiene. What are they trying to tell me? <laughs> Cause I got two Bath and Body sets. So the first one is this one from Bath and Body Works from the Aromatherapy line. It's the Eucalyptus and Lavender. I have the body, lotion and the body shower gel bath gel uh, this smells really nice actually i wouldn't think that lavender and 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 eucalyptus made a good combination but it really does it smells really nice so i have the shower gel like i said in the lotion and then i got this one from fresh um i've never used any like body care stuff from fresh except for the um like face masks and so this is the oh god his his hesperides hesperides grapefruit bath shower gel and lotion as well so people are trying to tell me to take a shower more often i guess <laughs> so shower gel lotion which is nice because i only have the shower gel that i'm working on and the um lotion that i'm currently working on so i don't have to go buy body care items for the next at least two months um so maybe till like the end of February, I'll need to go buy some. And then it's um, another thing that I got from my friends from work. We all kind of like, oh, I forgot a thing. <laughs> um, I'll tell you guys about the thing I forgot. Um, but it's funny because we at work, like we gifted gifts amongst each other and we all gave each other hand lotion. <laughs> you know, you work with a nurse if you get excited about pants and, and lotion. So from one, from one, um, kit 
I got these two hand creams. They're from the, the brand Bolero. This is the Cucumber Lily and this is the Primrose Pomegranate. I have been using this one um, and I think I'm gonna put this one in my purse and then just have this one as a backup here to see whenever I finish it. It's kind of watery, but it smells nice and it made my hands feel nice. So I think to have it in, in my purse would be nice. Definitely not for work because I think it's too watery for work and the alcohol is just gonna dissolve all that lotion from my hands and it's gonna make my hands feel tacky and sticky and it's just not a good combination. And then um, another coworker, um, she also gave us a hand cream and she gave us a hand cream from Trader Joe's. I picked the avocado scent flavor. I don't know how you would say it, but um, I left it at work. Um, we had our, our Christmas party on Tuesday and so I had just run out of, of hand cream and I was working, I, I, had, I was using the one she gave me. It's so good. I wish Trader Joe's sold stuff online, like they had an online store so I could buy it because I don't have any Trader Joe's near me. Um, I think the closest, I don't even know if there's one in Phoenix. Let me know if there's one in Phoenix because that would be the closest one and that's like six hours away. <laughs> so it's not like I could just, you know, drive by one day. But anyway, um, it's super, super good. Uh, like I said, that's gonna be my work hand cream just because it's very rich and thick and it smells really good. And um, so I left that in my locker. And then another coworker gave us um, a some pens, a pack of pens. I already opened up the pack of pens. I left half at work and I brought the other half in here and they're like in my little office area. And then she also included an EOS lip balm. This one smells really nice. I don't know what it smells like, but it, it's like, is it cherry? strawberry one of those two uh, and i'm excited because i've never used an eos lip balm i do have one in my collection but i've never used it so i'm excited to try it and then she also uh, added some candy and stuff like everybody from work their little gift bag came with a bunch of candy in there and gum i may or may not have already eaten maybe about half of it <laughs> i love chocolate and then um another co-worker along with the um the candy and stuff. She included a, a hand cream from Bath and Body Works. This is the Calming Chamomile with lavender and chamomile. So I think people at work are trying to tell me to chill. <laughs> well, not just at work, my family too. I got a lot of stuff with lavender and lavender is supposed to make you a little more zen. And then I forgot to show you guys what I got for my white elephant. Let me go get it. So if you guys don't know what a white elephant gift is, is you, it's a gift exchange and you i don't know why it's called white elephant but basically you pick out you if you want to participate you bring a gift you pick out a number and the order that the numbers go is the order that you pick um and then you can either pick a gift from what's unopened or you can steal a gift from one that's already open so if you can't if you if you choose to go with a wrapped gift you can't be like oh i don't like it i'm going to steal like once you Pick a gift that's yours. So um, in order to make it fair, because if you if you get number one, like you get a one gift and and that's it, you, you don't have a choice. You have to get, you know, anything that's there and you're kind of stuck with it unless somebody steals it from you. And so t at work we had 28 people participating and I got number 24. So I was feeling really, really good about it. I'm like, I'm kind of towards the end. I can kind of see what everybody has. I'll have a good you know good options to pick from from the open things and if not i'll just if i don't like anything i'll pick another one so i had seen this girl get a kind of like a kit from bath and body works they had a candle a hand soap uh, a room spray a hand sanitizer and a hand cream a little like pocket size hand cream and so when my time came around i stole her gift so i was really excited i was like oh yes so then when we finished, I was like, oh, nobody stole my gift. But then everybody's like, oh, wait, number one has to go. You know, she gets to either keep her gift or steal anything from anybody else. And guess whose gift she stole? <laughs> she stole my gift. So I got stuck with the gift that she picked in the first place, which was a bottle of wine. I'm not a big drinker. I'll drink wine, but it's mostly for like special occasions. If I'm at a fancy dinner or Christmas, New Year's, things like that. I'm not the type of person to, who will just kind of like drink 
a glass of wine on a Friday afternoon to relax after a long week. Like I'm not that type of person, but I, I kind of drink a little bit, uh, like I said, special occasion. And this is a, a brand that I actually do like, Stella Rosa. I usually buy the label that's white, uh, but this one's black. I don't know the difference. And I like it because this is a low alcohol grape wine. Um, like I said, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a drinker half a glass and I'm already sleepy, ready to go for a nap. <laughs> so I was really sad that I guess karma came back at me for stealing that gift. I got it stolen back. Um, but anyway, that's what I got for my Christmas um, white elephant gift exchange. So there you have it guys. That's everything that I got for Christmas. I'm super excited about everything. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. Let me know what your favorite gift was. You know what? Let me know about the worst gift you've received. What is the worst gift I've received? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, it was a year of work. We were doing a white elephant and the person didn't know to bring a unisex um, gift. She thought it was kind of like a funny gag white elephant gift and I ended up getting one of those bags. I'm blanking on the name, but it's one of those like rubber bags that when you sit, it makes a farting noise. Whoopee cushion. Yeah. That's what I got. That's the worst Christmas present I've ever received. So let me know your worst Christmas present in the comments. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.